the gas station where 56 year old George Edward Myers was shot to death 42 years ago is now a tattoo shop. The Okaloosa County Sheriff's Office is still working to find out who is behind his murder. From our understanding, he was actually a very popular clerk. A lot of people knew him. He always worked a night shift. He was face down in the storage area. There was a lot of blood there and he, it turns out he had been shot uh, at least eight times. Butler says there was probably a small time frame in which Myers could have been shot. I do believe that around 2.30 in the morning there was a patron in the store that had purchased something at that time he was alive. So he was found just after 3, so it's somewhere between 2.30, 3 o'clock in the morning. Butler says there were no signs of a robbery or any reasons to believe Myers had any issues with anyone. So the motive for this murder remains unclear. Old news reports say the responding lieutenant at the time suspected it might have been an attempted robbery. The reports also say that the sheriff's office had questioned two people of interest at the time, both in connection with a string of robberies in Milton, but ultimately found no link. We can speculate all day long. That store was, um, it was kept very neat, very clean. Mr. Myers working the night shift, he, you could tell he kept that place. He took some pride in keeping it up and nothing looked out of place. You know, the safe wasn't touched, the cash register wasn't touched. Uh, there was some items on the victim himself that none of that was touched, his wallet. So. Obviously, we, rule, we don't believe it was a robbery attempt, but again, that's speculation. Butler adds that crime-solving technology has come a long way since the 1970s, and there are some things they would have done differently if they'd come across this crime scene today. But he says the best crime-solving resource remains people. Anyone with information is asked to please contact the Okaloosa County Sheriff's Office or Emerald Coast Crime Stoppers. In Okaloosa County, Mia Bell Salzano, News 13, Panhandle Strong.